when we suspend an execution we can step through the sequence using the step into step over and step out commands on the debug toolbar when the execution is suspended this test utilities button shows resume uh, option uh, next we have break option then we have terminate execution step into step over step out along with their keyboard shortcuts resume all break all and terminate all also we can find these commands in the debug menu as well they, they become uh, enabled when we are in uh, suspended execution so in this video we will step through uh, an execution of the uh, computer 3 sequence file that we created in a previous tutorial so let's go to execute and then run main sequence So as soon as the uh, uh, execution starts, the sequence editor immediately suspends uh, on the first step of the sequence because we enabled the break on first step option in the uh, previous uh, tutorial. The execution window tab includes an execution pointer icon to indicate the running state of the execution when the execution suspends we can step through the sequence using the step into step over and step out commands on the debug toolbar so let's click uh, step over to proceed with the execution and the display dialog box should uh, appear let's fail the RAM let's press OK and the test will now suspend again on the end group so the execution is now suspended let's insert a breakpoint at the CPU test by left clicking on the uh, left uh, side of the CPU test and uh, the stop red bright stop sign indicates that uh, that a breakpoint is now uh, set up to specify a conditional breakpoint let's right click the stop sign icon and from the breakpoint let's select breakpoint settings this launches the breakpoint settings dialog box in this dialog box we can specify an expression that must evaluate to true to activate the breakpoint conditional breakpoints use a bright red stop sign icon in the sequence file and execution windows disabled breakpoints use a gray stop sign icon when we globally disable all breakpoints the breakpoints use a white stop sign icon so let's click the resume button so that the execution would could resume it should stop at the CPU test because we have placed a breakpoint over here now let's click step into so that we can go inside this uh, uh, call sequence step and now we are in the uh, CPU sequence uh, uh, step and uh, we have a call stack 
uh, pane in which we can see that uh, from computer uh, three sequence we have entered into the CPU uh, sequence. So sequence call steps are similar to sub VIs in LabVIEW and function or method calls in C, C++. When a step invokes a subsequence, the sequence that contains the calling step waits for the subsequence to return. The subsequence invocation is nested in the invocation of the calling sequence. The sequence that is currently executing is the most nested sequence. The chain of active sequences that wait for nested subsequences to complete is called the call stack. The first item in the call stack is the most nested sequence invocation. The call stack pane displays the call stack for the execution thread currently selected on the threads pane. A yellow pointer icon appears to the right of the most nested sequence invocation while the sequence executes. So we can select each sequence on the call stack to view each sequence invocation. Like we are in the CPU sequence and if we click on the computer 3 sequence then we uh, enter into that uh, part and we can see where uh, we are the execution is suspended let's go back to the main cpu sequence so let's click uh, uh, step over to step through the cpu uh, sequence subsequence one step at a time So let's click the step out button now and the test end resumes the execution through the end of the current sequence and suspends the execution at the next step of the calling sequence or breakpoint whichever comes first. Let's continue stepping through the computer 3 uh, sequence by clicking the step over button. Now we are going through the loops of the video test. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine this is this was the last one so let's continue stepping over so let's continue with our stepping over we are now into the cleanup group and about to execute this cleanup message and the cleanup uh, message now shows up and let's click uh, step over once more to complete the execution the execution window now dims uh, when the execution uh, completes Let's go to restart button to rerun the execution. The execution window must be the active window to restart the execution. So we are at the first step and we are now suspended. Let's click the terminate execution button. The test end has launched the cleanup message dialog box even though 
we terminated the sequence execution. When an operator or runtime error terminates the execution, test and proceeds immediately to the steps in the cleanup step group. Let's click OK to close this uh, clean message dialog box. And the execution window dims because the execution is now um, complete. So let's uh, click the restart button once again and the execution window must be uh, active window to restart the execution. So the execution is now again suspended at the first step. Let's go to the debug menu and there we have the option a bot all no cleanup. Let's choose it. And the execution of the sequence immediately stops. The dim background shows us. And the test stand did not execute any steps in the cleanup step group either. So let's save all the changes. And let's close all windows in the sequence editor.